Shalom. It's Sunday, and Sunday is the day for Hashkafa, Torah philosophy. One of the fundamental principles of all of Judaism is that we have free choice. We decide our own destiny. Now, it's true, we don't have complete free choice, meaning I can't decide today whether I want to you know, buy a Lamborghini or a Ferrari because life circumstances are that I can't afford either of them. So I don't have free choice in that sense, but within the situations that are presented to me, within my life circumstances, I can choose freely. And the most important choices that I make are whether to follow the mitzvot or not follow them. It's completely up to me. God does not determine that I'm going to be a righteous person or a sinner. And that is true of all people. All people have that. Now, there's a lot of questions that are raised about free choice. For instance, if God knows everything um, and God knows what's going to happen, are we really free to choose whatever we want? Okay, that's a question and it takes a lot of thought and a lot of explanation until we're able to understand the answer to that question. But the one argument that can't be beaten when it comes to free choice is the idea that God tells us we're going to be punished if we don't follow the Torah and we're going to be rewarded if we do follow the Torah. Now, if it wasn't up to us, what would be the point of punishing us and rewarding us for not following or for following the Torah? The fact that God promises us to be rewarded and threatens us and warns us about being punished explains to us that in truth we have the choice whether to be as righteous as Moshe, which is a power and the ability that we have, or to be a sinner like all the sinners that we see in the Torah. It's up to us, it's our choice. We have free will. Shalom.